Okay, today we're going to talk about potentiometers, testing, cleaning, and what to do if you have a scratchy pot, and how they work, basically. So I basically, I have a uh, schematic diagram of a 5K or 5,000 ohm potentiometer here. Uh, you're going to see this in schematic diagrams a lot. Uh, basically, a, a, a potentiometer is nothing but a resistor with a wiper. Now, the wiper will change resistance so basically if the wiper moves along the resistor at any point it's going to change resistance between any of these three points so right now I have the the wiper is in the in the center of this 5k schematic resistor uh, excuse me potentiometer so essentially you should be able to cut this value in half to 2.5k so if you were meant to measure from this point to this point on the potentiometer, it would read 2.5K, and from this point to this point at 2.5K. And if you slide the potentiometer this way, you're going to have, um, you know, significant changes. You're going to have more resistance on one side and less on the other. So basically, this is the same thing as these three leads right here. So these three leads, that would be one side, that would be the wiper and the right side would be the other side of the resistor. So if you wanted to test total resistance across this to make sure it wasn't an open potentiometer, you can test from here to here. We'll show that on the meter. I set it to ohms. And I'm gonna put it, try to put it across the two outers with one, with one hand here. Okay, so you can see right there it's almost 5K, which is going to be typical. And if I go from one point to the center, which I have the pot, I have the potentiometer centered right now, the dial. You see it's half, it's about 2.5K. So that's how you can test the resistance of a potentiometer, but that's not necessarily going to give you a true um, test to see if it is actually okay or not. The only way you're going to, um, well, as in scratchiness, the only way you're going to be able to test that is if it's whatever device it is controlling, whether it's volume or, or a fader, whatever, you will notice a significant scratchiness sound, or you're just going to see... Um, see jumps in in its function and that is caused by either oxidation wear on the potentiometer the wiper um, I got one broken apart here basically here's the shaft and here's the resistance pad and this basically this left side here is connected at this point of the resistor and this point is connected at the other side of the resistor so there's your total resistance and your wiper is actually connected to the shaft portion with the wipers on the bottom which it kind of fell off but that is the wiper there and when you spin this it moves the wiper along the outer resistance pad and what happens is over time it either wears through from lack of lubrication and cleaning or it becomes burnt in certain spots from high current situations actually this one does have a burn mark right on the right side so that is considered a dead spot or an possible open potentiometer it may just have a little bit left holding on there so that is going to be a problem and you may not notice that uh, checking its total resistance or wiper to uh, left or right side but as you can see here it's definitely a failure so if you have a dead spot in your pot you might as well just replace it because you're never going to ever clean or fix that that is permanent but if it's just scratchy and it just needs some uh, lubrication what you can use is a tuner cleaner I don't suggest using contact cleaner because that is a temporary solution you want to use something with a mild lubricant or a lubricant so I use this stuff uh, deoxid fader f5 it's got uh, cleans and lubricates so basically it's going to clean all this oxidation and uh, crud that gets built up in here and it's going to put a mild lubrication between the wiper and the pad here and how you do that is you squirt it right in the bottom here with a 
the legs are if you're lucky enough to have an opening if it's not a seal potentiometer so you're gonna have a gap right about right about here where the uh, opening is and that is how you can clean and lubricate it um, but unless you crack the thing open you're not gonna really know 100 percent if there's any problem with it but uh, unless it, like I said if it's in use you'll notice a significant problem in a certain portion of your potentiometer dial um, if it's one spot always in one spot no matter what you do and clean it and you always have this dead spot where nothing happens or, or, or it's doing something erratic I would I would guess that your potentiometer has the same uh, suffers from the same problem this one did which is a um, burn mark or a wear through so that is how you can test, clean, and um, a basic understanding on, of how potentiometers work.